Good afternoon, everyone. How are we all today? We are rocking and rolling today. I've got my bloody dog trying to chew me. Let's just wait for the others to turn up. Right, let's me let me sort out the social media bit. See if we get a few people intrigued. Um Post it in the Facebook groups. And, um, right, there's one more. Where's the other one? That one. Right, that's the social media done. Just going to message Josh. Hopefully Dave will be on. Right, now we just play the waiting game. Do 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 Let's have a look. Let's have a look at creative. So the obvious ones are still there. Next big things. Umberto Carrillo. So I've got one, two, I've got two out of the five for the hot pros uh, for the next big things. Hot prospects. I've got Dragon Lee. Um I don't think I've got Liv Morgan, I haven't. Uh, I think I might have Tegan Knox so. though. Best talkers as usual. Uh, I've got Andrade. I think I've got Ray Mysterio, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, 
got Ricardo, got Steve Austin. Who's hot at the moment? Cody Rhodes is hot. Otis is hot. We got Roman Reigns, Bailey, and then Seth Rollins. Who's not? Ricochet, Angelo Dawkins, Eric, Sonya Deville, Liv Morgan. All right, anybody in? All right, Josh. I was just having a look at the creative. Hello, Dave. Bloody hell, you're in early than usual. Say hello, Baxter. Hello. Hello. I feel like a, a bomb. Oh, no, you can't see, can you? Hold on. You can see his head. Hello. Trying to bite me bloody mask. Hey, get up. No. Get up. Yeah, go on then. You stay over there. You go over there. Out the way. Come on. Out the way. Yeah, he can be. He can also be a pain in the bum. Can't you? Hmm. Come on then. If you're staying here, you're going to settle and go to sleep. Uh, yeah, last night was good. I got the most sleep I've had so far last night. Um, he, he he tried for about 10 minutes to get on the bed, gave up, went to sleep. And then he tried to sort of wake up about 4am, but I weren't having it. I ignored him. He tried for about two minutes, gave up, went back to bed for a bit. And I got up about, I got up about half five, six, which ain't too bad. I don't mind getting up at that time because I went downstairs with him. I, I put my headphones on, watched a few YouTube videos waiting for my girlfriend to wake up because her alarm goes off at quarter to seven so uh, it's fine how are you two today anything exciting happened today for you dog keeps shaking the laptop by the way i'm sorry if you can if you're seeing that on screen uh right let's just get this going So, um, yeah, it's your show now. Sorry, yeah, it's finally your show after the cock-up we had last episode. So, while I've got you two here, I have an announcement to make about the TEW content moving forward. So, Monday and Tuesdays will be our WWE um, save. And then on Thursday, I will be doing a TEW save with Fight Club Pro in because i i'm trying to i basically i'm doing local to global challenge um and i'm going to be fight club pro who i've been to many times in in back in the day um they are the closest wrestling promotion to me on the game there is other there is more local wrestling promotions but they're not on the game um so then like thursdays it'll be something slightly different plus it just stops me from getting bored so Offline, I'll probably go through go through the uh, people and sign people and yeah uh, Thursdays. So this went so Wednesday and Fridays off usually, but this week it will be f tomorrow. I'll be starting it tomorrow. It's just um, yeah. So I'll be starting the Fight Club Pro say tomorrow, um, and then moving forward next week. It's only t I'm only doing it tomorrow because obviously I didn't do it Monday because I weren't I weren't well. So yeah, so Mondays and Tuesdays will be our save as usual. Um, and then Thursdays will be Fight Club Pro. Or I could have Thursday off and do Friday and call it Fight Club Friday, couldn't I? So yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd let you two know as it affects you. Um, hopefully it'll get a few more people in, something different. Right then, Dave, if you wanna book the first if you wanna book your pay per view, just do it bit by bit if you prefer. You don't need to do it all in one go, it makes it easier for me.
angle. Okay. Without looking. Oh no, it won't. No, it doesn't matter. No, no biting. So I'll talk to the dog, not you two. Um, just take your time, Dave. AJ challenges Evans. Yeah, I try. I try not to do AJ Lee, but sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Oh, like just then. Uh, Next. Yeah. Hello, the Mr. Rain for 231. Nice to see a newbie in here. Feel free to uh, give me a follow. How are you? I'm good, Mr. Rain. I'm good. Uh, what have you been up to? Do you enjoy do you enjoy TUW? Is that why you're here? Are you a wrestling fan? Ah, uh, where are you from then, Mr. Rain? I assume maybe America, I'm guessing. I could be wrong. Or Scotland, I don't know. Scotland's always got snow. Keep keep it coming, Dave, don't worry. I'll uh, I'll keep up with it. I can do I can do both. So you're doing an angle where you got okay, right? Dalton Castle microphone. For God's sake, my dog is driving me mad. Right, get over there, out the way. Go on. Sorry about that, everyone. No, go away. Go on. Is Apollo Crews rated or anything? No. No.
Right, we're back, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. Just refresh the stream. I hope Mr. Rain's still there. Mr. Rain, I apologise. I, ha I have issues with my mic. My mic is not very good. The slightest movement, it goes off, and then I have to restart the software. It's very annoying. Uh, hopefully people can... It's back on now, yeah. Are we back on? Hmm, what's going on here? Okay. Ah, oh, so annoying. Yeah, sorry, mate, my mic. Because the dog was doing me head in, I went to move the, mo uh, the dog and slightly move the cable. I wish I had money to buy a new mic because this is driving me up the bloody wall. Hello. Right, hopefully the little shit of the dog that I've got will stop now. Uh. So sorry about this, everyone. Right, are we all in? Josh, Mr. Rain, Dave, are you here? Yeah, sorry. So, two times, my dog pulled the cable in some, from my mic, and annoyingly, the software stops working. So, I have to stop the stream. The dog's obsessed with this zip on the, the cushion. And he's really irritating me. Does anybody want a dog? Mr. Rain, would you like a dog? Uh, we've got as far as the Chosen Bros. So, oh, I did the, did I do the angle? Yeah, I did, I did the angle. I just haven't done it yet. Hold on. I did most of it, though. Right, there you go. Angle with Dalton Castle and Apollo Crews. Ricochet attacks him. Oh, Gunther. Oh, okay. You didn't have Gunther in that original one. I don't know. Stupid dog. Stop chewing on the pillowcase, you git. Right. You, go over here. Yeah. Now you can't chew on the bloody things. That's unlucky, isn't it? Ha! Stopped him. Right, let me just edit this angle. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way, Mr. Rain. I hope you're still there. I do apologise, my friend. Uh, hopefully he'll come back. Right, I've done the angle, Dave. New day beat judgment day. Is that is that I'm assuming it's a yeah, exact just tell me if it's ever Biggie. I'll always assume it's Xavier and Kofi.
Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Bear with us. I automatically did Finn Balor then. Sorry. So I'm a bit slow. It's um, trying to keep the dog occupied as well. Uh, right. Finbala. Ludwig. Kaiser. Right, that's that. Oh, we got another new one. Hello, Rudy. Nice to see you. You just have to bear with us. I've got an annoying little sausage dog that won't calm the hell down. How are you, Rudy? Yeah, feel free to uh, follow me. I'm literally this close and getting to the 50. I've got 48 now, so you if you follow me, I'll, I'll be up to 49. You never know, by the end of the stream, I might get to that 50. So basically, just, yeah, there you go. So basically, um, we've got me, I'm in charge of Raw, um, Zona Mr. FM, who's my friend Josh. He's in charge. Thank you. Thank you, Rudy. Um, my friend Josh, who's Zona Mr. FM, he's in charge of SmackDown. And then we created uh, a new brand called Dynasty that... Um, uh, wrestle guy, oh, what is it? Wrestle guy, that's it. Th sorry, that wrestling guy, sorry, sorry, Dave. That wrestling guy, 97, he is, uh, his name is Dave. He, so if I say Josh or Dave, then you'll know who I'm on about now. Um, he's in charge of Dynasty. We basically did a brand split and then we, we, we've got our own pay per view every month. I've got mine the one week and then Dave will have his the next week and then Josh will have his the next week. Yeah, Dave, Dave come up with the name. So, yeah, I'll give credit to Dave. Um, I created the, the Dynasty logo, so you might see it when we play the game in a minute. But, um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're ticking along nicely at the moment. We've only been doing... I've been doing this for a, quite a while, like for about a month maybe. But we've just the last two weeks, I think, we've started doing this idea where we book a brand each. Especially, um, well, you say that, Rudy, but I also sign. I also sign a lot of wrestlers, so I end up having a roster of about two hundred people. So yeah, so each roster is more than sorted. So yeah, if you want to ask us anything about our particular brands, who's if I show you the, ch I'll tell you what. When we finish this event, um, when I finish this event, I'll show you the rosters. No, I, I exaggerate. Two hundred, I exaggerate. Yeah. 100. I just exaggerated. Um, but yeah. Where are you from then, Rudy? How old are you? Are you a youngster or are you, a, are you an old git like me? Who have we signed? It's more like who haven't we signed. Well, we're continuously trying... Yeah, I've got Okada. We signed Okada... Well, in the editor, I, I had Okada join WWE or... No, I signed Okada, didn't I, uh, didn't I, Josh? Josh is the historian here. He's my unofficial mob. He knows more than I do. 32. Oh, there you go. You're not that old then. Yeah, I have Okada. Ha, 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 But Josh has Roman Reigns, The Rock. I have Paul Heyman. I have John Cena. I'm, I'm 39. I'll be 40 in a couple of months. I can't remember how old Josh is. There you go. Josh is 33. I think Dave's in his 30s. I could be wrong. But yeah, we're continuously raiding AEW as well for their wrestlers. We might be on the verge of signing um, Ricky Starks. So yeah, right. Big E beats Giovanni Da Vinci. So yeah, so I will respond to your chats. Um, 
but I'm just going to book this for Dave. Because uh, Josh and Dave tell me what to do, and then I book it for them. Because unfortunately, TW is not a multiplayer online game, which is really annoying. So it would make it a lot easier. Yeah, I'm quite proud of the logo. I've, I got, I had to get really good at making thumbnails. Uh, I'm not the best, but it's something you have to learn very quickly to get good at. And and then, so I got better at creating logos. Right, Biggie Giovanni. Do you know what match I wouldn't mind seeing in real life is Biggie versus Gunther, two big meaty boys. Where are you from then, Rudy? Anywhere anywhere exciting? I'll just give you a follow as well, Rudy. There you go. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Much appreciated. Thank you to Josh as well for uh, being a good mod. Oh, okay, cool. We're uh, the rest of us are from England as well. Where in England are you from? North, South, Midlands. If you don't want to tell me the specifics, that's fine. I'm I'm just being nosy. Uh, keep 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 it coming with the the booking, Dave. Don't worry, I am talking to Rudy and that, but I am keeping an eye on you as well. You've done what? You've done 122 minutes so far, so you got another hour to book. Um, I think you've only done one angle, so, no, two angles so far. Oh, Rudy. Oh, originally. Oh, I was going to say, I live near Birmingham now. Oh, you poor sod. Birmingham's bad enough. Morning, Jay. Welcome back, my friend. Hope you're okay. Yeah, Jay, you're not from the UK, are you? Because you said morning, y'all. I think you're from Texas. Are you from Texas? That is a terrible, terrible accent, by the way. I do apologise. Was bedroom sick yesterday? Much better today. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, uh, maybe it was just a random thing that happened. Oh, Wisconsin. Yeah. It's, not, it's supposed to be nice over there. Do you like it over there? New Day, all mic rated, and Judgment Day. So the, the, the day special, we call that. Biggie. Microphone. Xavier. Microphone. Kofi. Microphone. Finn. Microphone. Damien Priest. Dominic Mysterio. Ready. Yeah, who do you support, Rudy? You better not be a Man City or Liverpool fan. Have you always lived in Wisconsin, then, Joe? Are you from? All, have you always been from that area? Is is Wisconsin down the south? Is it? Um, I think it is, isn't it? Oh, Villa. Yeah, that's all right then. As long as you're not a uh, a Man City or a Liverpool fan, you'll be all right, Rudy. Spurs. I'm for my sins. I'm a Man United fan. Uh, Josh is a Brighton fan, ain't you, Josh? Jay, do you support any football teams? Uh, soccer, soccer, in where soccer, where you call it? Soccer. Born and raised in Wisconsin. Oh yeah, so it's it's quite foot, up north actually, isn't it? Yeah. I bet when you have, I bet you when you, I bet you have really, really lots of snow in the winter, don't you? Oh, yeah, Minnesota United, yeah. Josh is a, a bit of a fan of the MLS, aren't you, Josh? You're quite knowledgeable on that. So, uh, yeah, I don't really watch. I used to watch the MLS when I used to do um, bets and things like that because the MLS is always full of goals. So I used to do, like, like three goals in each game, accumulators, as they call them. More of the American. Yeah, that's understandable. The only reason I don't like American football, similar to rugby, it's very stop-start, but then... Football or what you call soccer is becoming that as it is. Right, keep it coming, Dave, while we're talking. Don't feel like you have to wait. 
So I can do both, don't worry. I can I'm one of the few guys that can multitask. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. You and Josh can talk about... Um... You only like the Chiefs because of Taylor Swift, Josh. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the UK. The rest of us are in the UK in this chat at the moment, Jay. You're the honorary American here. Um, we had a, we had another newbie in here before my before my stream got cut off, um, but he hasn't come back sadly. Oh, that's it. Well, you, it's a pay per view. You've you've only done one hour and one hundred twenty nine minutes. You got to do at least three hours. Come on, Dave, put the effort in. Let's have a look at your roster. I tell you what, let's let's uh, let's add a match. Let's see who you've got left. Let's go male. I'm not going to do the match. I'm just going to tell you. So you got. AJ Styles is still... you got Abyss, AJ Styles, Apollo Crews, Batista, Bill Goldberg, Bron Breaker... Bron, hold on, can you see this? What am I... No, you can't. Oh, this is so annoying. Hold on. It's easier if I just show you, isn't it? Right, bear with us. Windows capture. Fucking. There we go. And then drag this across like so. There you go, Dave. It's TV. Oh, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Dave. I thought this was your pay-per-view. Okay. I stand corrected. I apologise. Right. My bad. Right, start the show. Um. Right, let me just catch up with the chat before I carry on. No, I'm only joking. I know it's not because of the Taylor Swift effect, mate. Don't worry. Uh, it's a show, Lucha, not pay-per-view. Five matches is a lot. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Dave. For some reason, I thought your your pay-per-view was now, but your pay-per-view is after this, isn't it? Right then, let's get cracking with this then. So, uh, did the angle. Got an 84 rating, so that's a good start to the show. Oh, 93 rating for the match, which is good. Oscar carrying that match. Um... The Chosen Bros, which is Matt Riddle and Jeff Cobb, for you newbies, defeated the LWO tag team of Cruz Del Toro and Yoken Wild. Um, that got 83. Um, for the newbies that don't know, um, me, Dave and Josh, every week when we do our TV shows, Josh is recording what rating we get for the final show, and that's how we decide who wins the head-to-head -head each week. And then the same with... We've got a pay-per-view each week, so we make a separate document for that as well. And then we'll figure out who wins the head-to-head -head for the pay-per-views. So uh, that angle didn't do well, did it? For some reason, I don't know why. Um, maybe I ballsed it up or something. Um, I did it exactly how you told me to do, though, so I don't think it. I don't think I did balls it up. Right, New Day retained the tag titles and got an 84 rating. Finn Balor. Beat Ludwig Vorga. No, Ludwig Vorga. Ludwig Kaiser. Sorry, Ludwig Vorga. Showing me age now, ain't I? Uh, 91 rating. Big E defeated Giovinci. I got a 77 rating. Giovinci, Giovinci, Giovanni Vinci, not Giovinci. Um, the angle, the day special angle we call it, got a 74 rating. 81 overall. So not too bad, Dave. There you go, 81, not bad. Mr. Rain, hello. I'm so sorry we got cut off, my friend. Um, Yeah, but thank you for coming back. Thank you for following me as well. Thank you to Rudy as well for following me. Thank you, uh, Josh. Josh is the historian here. Um, so, Mr. Rain, just in case you didn't hear what I said a minute ago, so how we decide this is every every week we make a note of what the, the show rating got, and then that's how we decide who wins the head-to-head. -head. Uh, I'm very lucky that I have some very good talkers. So, I have Paul Heyman, John Cena, CM Punk, um, Steve Austin. So, it's, it's it helps me with the overall rating for the show. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and up our bid for Ricky Starks, by the way, because AEW's just come out with another offer. I don't think the 
no, he won't let us. Uh, I'll just do the max bid that we can do. I'll give him slightly more merchandise. Give him a bonus of 20%. There we go. There we go. I think we've nicked Ricky Starks off AEW. Uh, yeah, right. But yeah, thank you, Mr. Rain and Rudy, for joining. I mostly stream um, 2 p.m. UK time, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So I don't know what time that is in America. I think you're five hours ahead or five hours behind. So, um, but yeah, much appreciated. Feel free to come along whenever you can. You say that till the other two sign some young indie folks with their stuff. Yeah, that's true. You never know. Where are you from, Mr. Rain? Are you UK based? Are you from America? Rudy's from America. Nice to have somebody from the uh, from the good old US of A here. Oh, AEW's altered their bid for Ricky Starks. They're really determined to keep him. Right. Oh, sorry, Josh, you're you're up next, booking SmackDown. I thought for some reason uh, it was going to be Dave next. So, Josh, just start throwing out your booking thingamajigs and I'll book them while we're chatting between people. Not from America. Oh, hold on. Who's from... Oh, sorry. Jay's from America. Sorry. Sorry, Rudy. My bad. Ru Rudy's from near my way, originally from my way. Where in Birmingham were you, were you from originally then, Rudy? My uh, my partner lives in, uh, in Weedy Castle. Yeah. Oh, you're from the USA as well? Ah, we've got two Americans in here now. Where are you from in America? Jay, Jay is from uh, Wisconsin. Ah, my condolences, Rudy. No wonder you went to London. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It could be worse, mate. I lived in Aston for a bit. Uh, not Aston. Hansworth, sorry. I lived in Hansworth for a bit. Uh, there's a good pub near Aston University called the um, Gosta Green. Me and my mates go in there quite a lot. It's quite nice in there. Let me know when you're ready, Josh. Start start throwing out the booking stuff and I'll I'll do it. Which America which NFL team do you support then, Mr. Rain? I just can't get into American football. I'm really trying not to move my laptop at the moment because I don't want it to go off again. If it, if if my uh, if my microphone stops working, just give me a minute and then just refresh the page and I should be back. So if it happens again, please come back. <laughs> right. Uh from Maine, the most northeast. Yeah. So is Maine near Wisconsin, Mr. Ray? Maybe maybe you and you and JBRS uh, can meet up for a wrestling show nearby or something. I'll help you. I'll help make you friends or something. I'll, I'll not matchmaker, but you know what I mean. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. I tried. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> right, Drew and Cody both rated on my angle. Okay. So Drew McIntyre's in the bloodline at the moment. That was a recent, uh, a recent thing that that um, Josh did. Yeah, this is this is like I I, I used to think I knew everywhere about everywhere in America, but I've got no bloody idea. It's a big. It's too big of a place for me to keep up with it. All 
Right, what's your next bit then, Josh? Forty-eight followers now, so I think that's two. Is it two more than last time? I think it's two more since last time. Let me just check. Yeah, I think it's uh, Mr. Rain and Rudy. DIY the ABC. Uh, Johnny, Tommaso, why is it not? Oh, no, that's why. Tommaso, Ace Austin, Chris Bay. Josh is much better at this game than I am. He's played it a lot more than I have. I've had it for years and years. Uh, never really played it religiously. Ooh, we've got six people in there now. Hello, anybody else in the chat? Feel free to say hello. Join in. Are you from England? Are you from America? Let us know. Oh, we went from six to four in about two seconds there. Right. Uh, Shana and Rhea beat Blinch and Liv Morgan. Um, at um, Josh did his last pay per view, and he had Shayna Baszler, who was on a hell of a run, um, defeat Becky Lynch, who beat Rhea Ripley for the women's title at WrestleMania, and he had Shayna Baszler beat Becky Lynch um, for the title at his last pay per view. Uh, I'll, what I'll do after this is I'll just do a quick. I'll I'll go through the. Show history, any key points. I'll let you sh I'll show you the champions and stuff like that. Actually, I'll do it now. Uh, so I'm I've got Happy Corbin as my heavyweight champion at the moment. Uh, the reason why I did that is because every time I put Happy Corbin in a match or an angle, uh, he would just be he would just get really good ratings. So I just went sod it. I'm going to go all in with him. And I got him to win my world heavyweight title, which I need to rename the Raw Heavyweight Championship. I'll do that later. Um, everybody's got a heavyweight title, a tag title, and a singles title. Um, the Dynasty Heavyweight Champion is Kevin Owens. The Dynasty Tag Team Champions are New Day. Um, I've got the European Championship. I've unretired that, and I've got Sami Zayn as the European Champion. Apollo Crews is the Intercontinental Champion. Um, my tag team champions are Razor and Akam of AOP. I've got Ronda Rousey as my Raw Women's Champion. I brought her back. Um, SmackDown tag team champions are Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne. I refuse to call them their tag team name because it's a rubbish tag team name. Shayna, as we already mentioned, is the women's SmackDown Women's Champion. Um, the United States Champion, which is uh, on SmackDown, is Chad Gable. And then Universal Champion is Cody Rhodes. We finally got him to finish the story at WrestleMania, beating Roman Reigns. Uh, and then the Women's Tag Team Champions are Oscar and Carrie Sane. So there you go. Right, Angle, Seth Rollins. Just that, just, just Seth Rollins, nobody else? But yeah, to the newbies, uh, and Jay, if you have any questions about what we're doing, and just just ask, you know. Who's uh, Rudy's, Mr. Reigns, and Jay's favourite wrestlers then? There we go. Let's get the conversation going. Who are your favourite wrestlers? Whether it's WWE, AEW, TNA, New Japan, let me know. Chad Cable. Defeats Austin Fury. That would actually be a good match in real life, that would. I don't think they've ever wrestled each other, have they? I don't think they are. I could be wrong. I think Chad Gable's going to turn heel at some point soon, though. Which is a shame, really. 
Then again, I looked at Otis on Raw the, uh, the other day. Jesus Christ. I know he's big, but I swear he's just gave up. Oh, no, I've done domination there. I didn't want to do domination. Uh, remove. Otis looks as unhealthy as I do. Actually, I look like I'm in better shape than uh, than him. Isn't he? Not, isn't he? Are we, is he? In the, isn't he the United States champion? Oh, well done. My bad. Sorry, sorry, Josh. Right there we go. Right, that's that. Uh, you can do all time all now. It depends. You can do both if you want. You can tell me your all time one and then go your current one. Good choices, Jay. I haven't watched Evan Cole stream. Does he just do? Does he stream playing games or does he just do talking and stuff? Yeah, Christian's amazing at the moment, isn't he? AJ, yeah. Yeah, definitely. AEW's really, really doing well lately. There, uh, for a while it was WWE, but um, AEW is starting to hit a stride again now, which is good. Them having Okada and Osprey and uh, Mercedes Monet is is going to be a big boost to their product. All time, Johnny Saint, Dynamite Kid. Have you ever what? Have you ever read um, any of their books, uh, Mister Ray? And any uh, Dynamite, all Johnny Saint. Does Johnny has Johnny Saint had a book? I think he has. Bret Hart's book's really good. Ric Flair's book's really good. Jay, are you a, a Mr. Anderson fan? As he's from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah, um, yeah. As a as a wrestler, uh, uh, yeah, I, I I would say one of the greatest all time as a person. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, he got away with a lot of shit that men could get away with back then doing that. So yeah, it's just one of those things. I mean, it's just. It's just a shame, really, that they got away with it for so long, but they can't get away with it now. That's that's all that matters. As a father to a 14-year-old daughter, uh, I'm glad that things are changing, hopefully for the better. Yeah, back in the day, you got to admit, Ric Flair on the mic was untouchable. Only I'd say Dusty Rhodes was the only one that could compete with him. Maybe Hulk Hogan to a point, but, you know, Ric Flair. But, yeah, as a human being, piece of SHIT. I, I totally agree on that one. Right, 104 minutes. You've got an, probably uh, you've got probably one more angle in the match, maybe, Josh, if you wanted to go down that route. When Kane debuted, best mic skill is that because he never talked, or you, I know you being sarcastic. I know you. Be, I know you were joking. Is it because of the machine? My name is Kane. I am a candy ass. Remember that when the rock did that. <laughs> I am Kane. <laughs> right, angle the the Josh special as I call this. Angle both on mic. Okay. We got the rock. Roman Reigns. Uh, Jimmy Uso. Solo Sukhoi. Tamat oh, Tamatonga. Angelo. Right, did I forget anybody? Jey Uso, maybe? No. You didn't have Jey Uso in that one. Are you feeling all right, Josh? Final match. Rock and get G.O.D. What? That don't make no sense. That What? Final match to Rock. Is there going to be something after this? Are you doing an angle afterwards? To, to... That don't make no sense. They're, they're united. Why are you breaking them up? Oh, I don't know.
I, there's times where I'm where I find the Usos indifferent, and then there's times where I really, really rate them. Okay, Josh. I I just didn't know, I just didn't understand that. Yeah, it just come out of nowhere. That's all. I'm not having a go at you. I'm just saying I was just a bit confused by it. I just wanted to make sure I got it right. Right, the Rock. So the Rock's feuding now. Is he out of the bloodline? Have I done this right? Was it the rock? Oh, okay, fair enough. So they're not in a store. Are they? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I understand what you're on about now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think Jay is less of a, a, a fuck up than Jimmy outside the ring because Jimmy Uso has had so many DUIs. I'm amazed, one, he's not in prison, and two, the WWE have never sacked him. I think the only reason he's never been sacked because of the fact that he's Roman Reigns' cousin. Uh, it's all right. I had a brain fart. I couldn't remember who else she said, but I remember now. Right, there we go. Right, who did you say was winning this one? Final match. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. The Rock. And the Tumblr. Roman Reigns' 2024 win-loss record's really bad. I don't. I, I think he's barely won a match because I had him lose to Cody in multi-man matches every every week. Right, let's start the show. So the opening angle got a 92 rating. Um, DIY defeating ABC got an 81 rating. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa sustained a, I don't know, I'm not even going to pronounce that. Um, and then the locker room's not happy with Ace Austin after his botch that caused Ciampa to get hurt. So a bit of heat for Ace Austin. The tag team of Shayna and Rhea defeated the tag team of Liv and Becky Lynch and that got a 95 rating. Uh, angle with Seth Rollins got a hundred, so that's good. Then Josh, uh, Chad Gable defeated Austin Fury, got an eighty-seven rating. The match suffered from lack of psychology, uh, and then we had Sheamus. Sorry, Seth Rollins beating Sheamus got a ninety-six rating. Um, the angle with the Bloodline got a ninety-two rating. And then the match itself got an 80 rating. The Rock only got a 72 rating. Uh, Tangalo got a 71 rating. Solo Sakura got a 53 rating. So just letting you know for future reference, Josh. And you got an 86 rating. So you're. So I got a. Did I win the head to head this week then? Oh, sorry, Rudy. Cheers, mate. All the best. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention then. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for following. Have a nice day, mate. All the best. Uh, bad match. God have no... Yeah, I know. But that's the same with Okada to start off with. And he didn't... His US popularity wasn't very big, was it? So you just got to build it up slowly. They'll get there. Uh, what, what rating did I get for my show last week? Let's have a look. Let's forward this. So you got an 86 then, didn't you? Or was it an 83? I can't remember. Did you make note of it? Yeah, but I had one last week, didn't I? So I did I did two shows last week and you two did one show. So the show that I did last week on the at the end, just you know, you know when Dave left and I did that one show. So that's technically for this week. Did you make note of it? I can find it. It's not an issue. Right. Uh, we've signed Aaron Solo. I was hoping that was Ricky Starks, but it's not. Hopefully, it's Rick we can sign Ricky Starks. Uh, Melina is due to retire in three months. Not that it makes any difference. Chomp is injured. SmackDown got 24.5 million. Let's have a look how long Chomp is injured for. Medical. Chomper is injured for four days, so he's fine. He's all good. Um, 
Chomper's got morale issues. I just need to sort him out. Don't know why he's got morale issues, but yeah. Right. Uh, let's have a look at the chat first. What was your second second show last week? No. Will be the last Raw in show history. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find show history. What's it called? Why am I so thick? It's here somewhere, isn't it? I've, oh, there you go. Show history. Sorry. Right. So if we look at last week, last week I got a 93. Dave got an 88. I got you got an 88. So I was first that one. Uh, payback we're not we're not doing that one sorry yeah so I got an 83 you Dave got an 81 I think you won that one then yeah so you won that one then Josh I thought for some reason I got a 90 something but I was wrong well done Josh yeah you won you won this week yeah Dave's closing the gap though. He's getting better and better with his shows now. So we've got to, me and you, we can't be all cocky because he'll soon bloody overtake us if he carries on. Because he's got young wrestlers and they'll only get better, whereas ours are getting older. God help me when Steve Austin retires and flipping Paul Heyman and John Cena goes to film films again. I'm screwed then. I'm going to be losing every week. What was your pay per view score? Uh, show history. 89. Dave got an 89. I got a 93. So, if we're basing it on... Is that on the month of March? Uh, month of May? Yeah, so... The month of May, I won the events head-to-head. Josh, it's not like you. Come on. You're supposed to be my secretary here. Right. We've got money in the bank in a minute. So uh, we've got it tonight, actually. So what we're going to do with the money in the bank. Hello, Mr. Rain. Sorry. It's all right. Proceeds to snag everyone from Limitless Wrestling. Is Limitless Wrestling... I don't think it's on this... I don't think it's on this database. Limitless Wrestling... Why have I heard Limitless Wrestling before? Why does that ring a bell? Right, let's just get this backstage incident out of the way. Uh, let's do that. Netflix. Right, so what we're going to do for Money in the Bank is um, we'll do an eight-man Money in the Bank match. We're going to do two from each of our brands. And then what I'm going to do is the wrestlers that are remaining, I'm going to get Mr. Rain to pick two of his male wrestlers he wants to pick. We'll do the same for the women's match. We'll pick two women wrestlers each off our brand. Um... And then what we'll do is we'll pick me, you, me, Josh and Dave will then pick two matches each to round up the event. We can have a world title match each and a tag team title match each or a women's title match each, whichever one you prefer. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you were trying to be a wrestler, Mr. Ray. That's really cool. Fair play. Are you on Twitter and Instagram, Mr. Rain? Maybe we could follow you in case you become big one day and then we can say, I remember him when he used to watch us play TW. Right, so I'm going to book my matches first while you, while you lot are having a think. I don't mind having my heavyweight title match open the show. It doesn't matter to me. We'll do 25 minutes. Uh, search raw. Mm -hmm. 
No, not type, not brand. Why is this different to what it's supposed to be? I don't know. I'll just do raw. Raw. Where's gender on here? Oh, so annoying. Right. Male. Right, so I'm going to do... Sound Punk versus a car. No, actually. Happy Corbin. So I'm going to do Sound Punk versus Happy Corbin for the heavyweight title. And I'm going to have Sound Punk win it because I think the Happy Corbin experiment is over. The joke's not funny anymore. I'll still have him as a prominent part of the my roster. Uh, and then I'm going to do a women's title match. I think that'll be my second match. So we'll do female. And I'm going to do Ronda Rousey versus Bailey. Uh, and I'm going to leave that open. So I'm going to leave the system booker to do that. It'll probably be Ronda Rousey that wins. Right. Sorry, let me go back to the chat now. I don't know how many how much chat there is now. Sorry, what is going on event? Right. Oh, okay, that's fine, Mr. Rain. I just wondered just in case. But uh, no, good luck in your wrestling career. Let us keep us posted and now you get on with your training. Um, yeah, Josh, so did you not hear what I said a minute ago? Or did you have to do something with your work? So basically what we're doing for Money in the Bank is we're going to have two matches, we're going to have two Money in the Bank matches, one for the men's, one for the women. Uh, we're going to have eight people each in that match. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have two matches each for each brand. So I've just done my two matches. If you and Dave have your two big matches that you want to do, it doesn't have to be for the titles if you don't want to. Whatever you want to do. Um, this is a this is a collaboration. This one we want to try and get the best rating possible. Um, I'm gonna do an I'm gonna do an angle with CM Punk and Corbin actually. So yeah, so Dave, Josh. Um, if you've got any matches that you want to do that you want to put on here, please let me know. And then we'll get and then what we'll do is we'll pick two wrestlers each for the money in the bank. And then we'll let Mr. Rain pick two wrestlers he likes off either one of our brands. So okay, so the Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody and Seth. And then what we'll do, we'll we'll figure out which order we want to put the matches in to maximize. The best way of doing it. Oh my dog! My my dog's just fast, isn't it? Really stinks. Oh Jesus Christ! Um, Kevin Owens defeats. Do, you, do let me know if you want to do. If there's any angles that you want to do to go alongside their matches, just put them in the chat and I'll book them. Kevin Owens beats Biggie, AJ, and Nakamura. Kevin Cross. No, not AJ Lee. There shouldn't be a rule. Only one AJ and only one Kevin. Uh, what was his one? Biggie. Open match. Decisive win. 
Oh, uh, uh, where is it? There we are. China defeats Becky Lynch. So Becky Lynch gets a rematch against Shayna. Mr. Rain, are you? Do you want to um, join in and and give us a couple of wrestlers after? A, or do you want to just do you want us to do it? Do you want to join in with the booking? Just let me know. If you don't want to, that's fine. But I just thought I'd at least give you a chance to join in if you want. Dave, have you got your other match ready to go? No, not war. Where is it? Smackdown. There you go. Yeah, Finn Balor beats Ricochet. Okay. I forgot. I called Rick boobs. Rick's boobs. It's just I've just been I'm just been reminded of that. That's quite funny. I can put that's 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 our best work ever. That is, Rick boobs. <laughs> oh, I'm such a child. I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Right. So that's that's all three of our matches. Now we need to do the money in the bank. So what we're going to do? I'm going to add the match here, uh, and then I'll show you which eight way singles. Where is money in the bank? It's here somewhere. Uh, I need to bring the money in the bank back. Sorry, forgot to do this. Uh, retired. So money in the bank, where are you? Women's money in the bank, we need to unretire that. Uh, where is the, there you go. Men's on retire on retire. So we've got three money in the banks. Oh no, we got four actually. <laughs> okay, there's too many money in the banks here. Right, let's go back to active. So I just get rid of the I'm gonna get rid of the raw and smackdown ones, probably the easiest way to do that. Retire. Oh, we can't retire them. Anyway, so we'll just do... This one's the men's. And then we've got the women's. Uh, I just need to make sure they're not associated with one particular brand. No. Are they? No. What about the women's one? Women's, 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 women's. Edit. No. Right, let me go back in the chat see what I've missed. Move the big matches higher up. Yeah, we'll do that afterwards. Let's just book them and then we'll move. We'll sort out the arrangement afterwards. Don't worry. I'm on it. Right. So I'm going to pick my first. I'm going to pick my two first. Um, we'll do this. I think we should we do 30 minutes. Let me know if you don't think that's a good idea. But I think because it's a big match, we could probably do with it 30 minutes or so. So we do mail first. Right. And if I search raw... And then I'll just do that and that. So my options are Andrade, Bobby Lash. See, I'd rather just have wrestlers that have never won. Oh, no, no, I won't. No, I need to make sure I've got the best possible ones. So Randy Orton, probably. Okada and Randy Orton, maybe John Cena. I'll leave. Uh, hmm. I need to have a think. Otis, maybe. True. La Knight and Jay So okay, move on. Yeah, but Cena's Cena's still good on the game, though, isn't he? Jay So and La Knight was yours, and then who's of yours? Going for Kofi. Uh, Mr. Rain, are you still in the chat? Do you want to pick two wrestlers or not? 
If you don't want to, it's fine, buddy. We can pick them ourselves if you want. We'll just pick the two best ones that aren't in the match already. Uh, maybe Rey Mysterio. Right, hold on. I'm trying to figure out who to pick for mine. I've got Okada. Uh, I'm probably going to go... I'm going to go Randy Orton. You can't see the list. Oh, that is annoying. You can't see the list. I do apologise. Yeah, if you want to pick, if you want to pick it instead, Jay, because I don't know, I don't know if Mr. Rain's still here. He might be busy. Bear with us. There we go. Uh, there we go. Right. Sorry about that, everyone. There you go. Easier for you to lot to see now. Um. So if I now go, if I just, because at the moment we've only got Raw, so if I just do any brand, we've got a lot more choices here now. If I just do that, makes it a little bit easier, I think. So we've got two guys left. Chad Gable, maybe, Bobby Lashley. Apollo Cruz, Andrade, Jay. No, oh no, Jay Uso is already in the match, so ignore that. Jimmy Uso, John Cena, Logan Paul, Otis, Rey Mysterio, Sami Zayn, Sheamus. So, how is Logan Paul's stats? Okay, I'll show you. Uh, Logan Paul. There you go. So, very popular. Microphone only 79 for some reason. We need to up his microphone skills because he is really good on the mic. Who has Logan? Uh, I think Josh has Logan, doesn't he? Or do I have... Oh, no, I've got Logan. Logan's on my brand. I completely forgot I've got him. Yeah. Yeah, the, the win will be random, mate, yeah. So, any suggestions, Jay? Or do you want us just to pick it? So, probably gonna go. I'm probably gonna if it's my if it's up to, if it's up to me, I'm probably gonna go Rey Mysterio because he'll have a good because he'll obviously work a good match. Um, and Drew probably Drew, Drew or Drew and Bobby Lashley maybe more star power. Both can go in the ring. I don't know. I'm open, Sammy. So we go Logan Paul and Sami Zayn, yeah? Does anybody have any objections to that? Well, I feel like that's a bit biased because that means there's... That, that means there's that's, no, I'm not going to do that because that means I've got four guys in the match. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make my chances winning anyway. Uh, so if I go... So I go Sami Zayn. Yeah, so if I, what I do is if I do it by brand. So if we say Sami Zayn is one of them, and then we'll have a look at SmackDown. So the top guys on SmackDown is Chad Gable, Drew McIntyre, Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, Sheamus. Should we go Sheamus and... Should we do... Right, we'll do Sheamus. Um, and let's have a quick look at Dynasty first so we don't leave Dave out. And we've got Apollo Crews. Yeah, see, the thing is, Apollo Crews. I think Sami Zayn. So, Dave, would you have any... Objections with us going Sammy and um, Seamus. Logan. Logan instead of Sammy Zayn. Uh, it's going to be random, Jay, so we'll, we'll soon find out. Right, here's our options Logan Paul, Sammy Zayn. Um, and what was the other one? Seamus. Tell me, each one of you, out of the three of you, tell me which one you want. So, Logan, Dave wants Dave, Logan. Josh, I assume you want Logan. We'll just go Logan. Majority rules. Right, Logan Paul. Right, there we go. 30 minutes. Random. Open match. Decisive win. For this match, I'm going to allow 
spinal impact moves and allow high risk moves just to make it a little bit more interesting. Do you reckon that's a good idea or not? So should we do should we do allow impact moves and that high impact moves or do you think it will ruin the match? Should we should we should we do a slow build for that match, Josh? Space it out a bit, or will it be too long? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where is it? Where's slow build on here? Oh, there we go. Slow build. Uh, right, money in the bank. Where are you? Oh, why is it not giving us the option for that now? I think I need to go out of it first. Right, I need to... Now, now will it let me? Oh, there we go. Money in the bank. Right, there we go. I just think if we do a slow build because of the chaos and the match and everything, I think it would space that a bit better. Right, so we've got the women's one to do now. Won't be as exciting as the men's, but it'll still be good in a way, though, because there's enough, there's enough good women's wrestlers on the roster. Right, so we just go female, and then we just go raw first. Let me pick my two first. So... Uh, Charlotte Flair, Julia, Jade. Mm. I'm probably going to go Charlotte Flair and Zoe Stark for mine. Uh, if I show Josh, if I go, if I show you your women's roster first, I know you probably know it, but so it gives you, you and Jay and everybody else a better idea. Oh, you're going Rhea Ripley. You've already, you already got yours. Okay. Dave, have you got yours ready? Do you want me to show you your roster? Right, there's yours. Asker and Tiff. Okay. Right, so now let's go back. Let's just go to every one of them. Oh, what have I done here? Uh, oh, that's why. Right, any brand. So we've got AJ Lee, Alba Fire, Alexa Bliss, B Fab. Well, I'm not going to bother. I'm. I'm uh, there we go. I've just shortened it a bit. So we've got a. We've got Alexa Bliss, AJ Lee, Billy K, Carmella. Gail Kim, Liv Morgan, Mandy Rose, Mickey James, Naomi, Natalia, Nikki Cross, Sonia, and Selena. Any of them take your interest? Uh, why can't you see? You can see. I can. I can see what you're seeing. Oh no, you can't. You can't see the roster, can you? Why can't? Why is it not? It's playing up today. This software. I feel like it's doing doing my editing. Right, I apologise. I don't. Right. There we go. You can see it now. I'll just expand this. There we go. Sorry about that. For some reason, I just keep forgetting that you can't see everything. Stupid bloody game. Yeah, this is women's now. Yeah, sorry, Dave. I apologise, mate. Yeah, AJ Lee's been in it. She was in a feud. She was in a feud with. Um... Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. It was me that booked it. I can't remember. She was in, I had her in a feud with somebody. 
Uh, I think it might have been Ronda. Yeah, it was Ronda Rousey. Yeah, Charlotte's already in it. Charlotte's already in it, Josh. So we'll go Naomi, maybe. So we just do Alexa and Naomi then. All right, we'll just do Alexa and Naomi. Right, we'll do 30 minutes for this. Uh, open match. Slow build. Decisive win. Allow spinal. Allow. Right. Uh, are we? No, no. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Bear with us. I've done the wrong thing here, lads. I didn't click the specific money in the bank match. Hopefully, it'll just let me... It won't change. Nah, that's all right. Phew. There we go. Women's. And then... Where's the women's? Money in the bank. There we go. Are you sure you want it? Yeah. Right. From top to bottom, how are we doing this? Are we having all the heavyweight titles at the top of the card? Are we going to have the Money in the Bank matches at the top of the card? Do you think maybe the women's Money in the Bank match should be the opening match, do you reckon? Have the men's one in the middle? Let me know. Tell me what you want me to do. Dave, any suggestions, my friend? Jay? You then with the Money in the Bank match. Okay. So we'll just do... Switch that one. I'll probably put the women's one... Opening the show. Uh, do we do any angles, do you reckon? Actually, let me do... Right, let me do an angle with CM Punk. Microphone, Happy Corbin. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, microphone. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have all of our best workers on the mic in a, just a random angle, just to try and maximise John Cena. Microphone. Cody. Microphone. Who else? Who else? Give me some other workers. Who else, Josh? Drew, innit? Drew's another good talker. Right, we've got two more. Dave, Josh, Jay, any suggestions on the mic? Punk's already in there, isn't he? Yeah, Punk's the top one. Can you not see it? Triple H. Right, I've already got Paul Heyman, Josh. The ones you suggested are already on there. Any of us? The Miz? Should we put the Miz in there? Is the Miz any good on the mic on there? Let's have a quick look at the roster. Uh, Seth Rollins is good on the mic, isn't he? We'll just have Seth Rollins. Right, Seth Rollins, microphone. And we'll just do eight minutes on that one. Uh, let's just push this down here a bit. Right. Right, is that it then? Sorry, Dave, I didn't see you. Sorry, the others, I didn't see your suggestions in the end. Owens, uh, we'll do another. Should we do another one with just with the ones that you've we've missed out? Just do like a random one. Right, we'll just do Kevin Owens. Too many Kevins now. Uh, AJ Styles. Uh, we'll do Xavier Woods, Kofi, B. 
Biggie, Finn, The Miz, uh, who was the other ones? Finn, AJ, I've done them too. Kevin Owens? So do, oh yeah, Steve Austin. There we go. Right, we'll just do that as, say, seven minutes. Just a random angle. And we'll push that down. Hold on. Finn Balor versus Ricochet. I need to move that down. Uh, no offence to whoever booked that one. I can't remember now. Uh, we'll push that one. Right. We'll push this Finn Balor Ricochet match down. And then we need to push the title matches up a bit. Oh, for God's sake. That one. There we go. Uh, push that one down. Yeah. Hold on, let me just check so I'm not missing anything. Yeah, move up. Yeah, I was just about to do that. Bloodline Tribal Chiefs. Should the second come after the match, or was it meant to be? Yeah, so the CM Punk Corbin one was just the set of their match, so, uh, so we'll just leave that. I'll just push it actually up here a bit. Right. Uh, I think the Bloodline Tribal Chief match needs to be up here a bit. Uh, move this one up a bit more as well. Right, I think that's pretty good, don't you? Do you think that's all right, lads? Are you happy with that lineup the way it is? No, sometimes I do random. Sometimes I do random. Some, but I, I sometimes do random. Uh, Josh and Dave always have their people that they're gonna push. So I just don't really care who wins half the time. That's all it is. Um, I just like booking matches. Whereas um, Dave and Josh put a bit more effort into who they book. Especially Josh. He's he's probably got like six months. Uh, six months planned ahead in his head of what he's doing with his roster. Um, but I just, it's just, I don't really think that far forward at times. Uh, I did do, when I started this TUW stream, I did actually do the lineups for the pay-per-views, for the next three pay-per-views, and then book shows to coincide with that. Yeah, Josh is very thorough. Right, I'm going to start the show. So, who won the Money in the Bank match for the women's one? Asuka defeated uh, the rest of them. She's now... That's, that's an interesting one there, Josh. No, not Josh, sorry. Uh, Dave, you, Dave, you've got Asuka, haven't you? So that's an interesting one that you've got going on there. Huh. Typical Dave, you have a women's wrestler win win a shot at the, at the women's singles title and you haven't got a women's... <laughs> well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> Dave, you're just going to have to have the Divas title, mate. I'm sorry. We're just going to have to add the Divas title now. It's going to have to be done. So there you go. <laughs> well, I know. In hindsight, we probably shouldn't have had Dave's women's wrestlers in here. But I wanted him to be included. So there you go. Uh, right, next one. Ronda defeated Bailey. Uh... Lack of psychology. I should have had the slow build thing on there. Finn Balor defeated Ricochet. Got a 95 rating. The angle with all of our... So all our best, work, our best workers on the mic only got a 91. That's disgraceful. That's disgraceful. The other angle that we did got an 83. 
Let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything. I dissed that match. No, I didn't diss the match. What do you mean I dissed the match? When? Yeah, if he doesn't want a women's singles title, that's up to him. I'm only joking. Um, yeah, so Kevin Owens retained his heavyweight title. Let's check the chat, something else to say. Said it needed to be bottom of the car. No, I meant as in to start the show, it needed to be the one that gets the crowd involved. Finn Balor versus Ricochet would be, um, if they were both at the peaks of their powers, um, would be an excellent match. It'd be an excellent match now. Um, but Finn Balor's getting on a bit and Ricochet's, He's still in great condition, but I think if you did that match, say, five years ago on an NXT uh, pay-per-view main event, it would absolutely uh, be amazing. So, no, no, dis no disrespect to you, Dave. I do apologise. Uh, Shayna Baszler not, uh, beat Becky Lynch with a knockout punch. Got an 89 rating. Uh, the Tribal Chiefs. Defeated the Coalition when Rock pinned Seth Rollins. Oh, the angle that we did with Corbin and CM Punk got 100. That's good. The match only got an 87, but that's still pretty good. Uh, CM Punk had a worse in-ring performance than Happy Corbin. We're going to have to do something about that. I'm going to have to use the editor after this and change it. CM Punk should not be dissed like this. And in the men's main event which is the money in the bank okada has won the money in the bank rightly so as well everyone he has worked his socks off to get more popular in america so fair play to him so yeah so okada wins and got an 85 rating uh so yeah and the pay-per-view got an 88 rating josh you can make note of this but you can you don't it does it's not going to affect the head-to-head -head because it's obviously a collaboration uh, but not a bad, not a bad one for for us to do together. So that was good. I enjoyed that. It was a lot, it was a good bit of fun. That was. How dare you diss CM Punk, brittle old man? What do you think the Rock is? The Rock's prehistoric. He still doesn't stop you booking him every time, and he gets a worse rating than CM Punk. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I don't think you. I don't think you've got a show for a while, Dave. So, um, if if we get to your show, we'll just save it and leave it as that. I'll be. Uh, I'll be on. Uh, just remember, I'll be on tomorrow at two p.m. So, if you want to come and watch me book Fight Club Pro on um, tomorrow, then come along. But yeah, nice to see. Nice seeing you again, Dave. All the best, mate. Oh, I think before you go, we've signed Ricky Starks, everyone. Woohoo! Rikishi to retire in three months. Uh, Bianca Belair has changed her body type from muscular to ripped. Um, Roman Reigns has an opinion. He says that Zoe Stark is pretty good in the ring, so we could, I could, we could do with pushing her. I'll, pu I'll push her, obviously. And apparently, Happy Corbin says that Dominic Mysterio is clumsy. So there you go. Uh, the Miz has a new catchphrase, by the way. Yeah, in real life, Ricky Starks would be amazing in WWE. He's 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 the he's a typical WWE wrestler, and he's more WWE than AEW wrestler. Yeah, CM Punk is very injury prone. I will agree with you on that one. Right, so our next show is Raw tomorrow night. How, how long have we been streaming for? Uh, I'll book that one, and then we'll book SmackDown, Josh, um, and then we'll call it a day, I think. So we've got two shows to go. Do you not want to do another show? 
Yeah, but I don't think Dave's that. that we can we can we can recap with Dave what's happened tomorrow or next week because as long as his shows aren't booked, it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, we can call it a day, but it's only doing. I've only done an hour and twenty minutes, unless. Well, what mm, what I could do is save it here, and then I could start the Fight Club Pro save, and we can just do we can just do that. Yeah, I'll do that then. We'll do that so Dave doesn't miss anything. I don't want. Uh, oh, we hold on. Before we do that, we've got a few contracts expiring, so let's just get these sorted. Jay Uso. Uh, Oh, we might be able to get Brian Danielson back. That would be an amazing signing. Uh, let me see how much we can give him. I'm not physically able. Okay, how shows is fine. I'll give you fifty percent merchandise. Uh, Brian Daniel Brian Brian Danielson wants a creative clause. So we'll just do creative clause, creative control clause. Sorry. Uh, okay, so we're keeping on that one. Hopefully, we can get Brian Danderson back. Jimmy Uso's contract's expiring as well, so we'll get offer him a new contract, get him sorted. Uh, Wade Barrett's contract's expiring. We'll negotiate with him. Uh, Jay Uso, yeah, we sorted him. Nakamura. Get you sorted. Oh, might be able to bring Cody's brother in, Dustin Rhodes. Get Goldust back up and going. Uh, she's continuing. Okay, so hopefully we can sign Dustin Rhodes. Pete Dunn's contract's expiring. Hold on, let me just check the chat. I feel like I'm being rude here, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. When when is when Dave is here, I can, yeah, do another show of me. Uh now nah, we'll do we you are right. He probably wants to see what we end up doing. So yeah, let me just do these first and then I'll have a think what we're gonna do. Pete Dunn. Oh, imagine if we can book Brian Danielson versus Pete Dunne. Right, let's save this. Uh, and then go back. So we'll start a new save now. Uh, we'll get rid of India and Australia. I'll put Fight Club Pro. I don't know if you can see any of this. Yeah, you can. I have to go in a meeting, mate, but I'll listen to you. Oh no, if you're gonna go, mate, I'll 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 call it a day. We'll just call it. We'll just end it early then. Don't worry. I'll just load this off. I'll just do this offline. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow, two p.m. UK time. I'll message you before I go on, Josh. But yeah, thanks as always. Thanks, um, everybody. Uh, Josh, Dave, Jay. Thank you to Rudy and Mr. Rain for t coming along as well. Much appreciated. Thank you. Cheers, Jay. Cheers, Jay. All the best, mate. Enjoy the rest of your day. No, it's fine, Josh. Don't worry about it. I don't mind. I don't mind ending it early. It'd make a nice change. Uh, to end it a little bit early, it's fine. Cheers, Josh. Much appreciated. Thanks, Jarell. Yeah, two newbies. I've got 48 followers now. I'm getting closer to that 50. I know. Come on, let's make it happen. Right. I'll see you soon, everyone. All the best. Bye.